Hey everybody, just going to do a little update here on the uh, 32 real quick. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Before I show you where I'm at there, I got to give a couple shout outs here. I just found Hot Rod Model Cars. You need to go check this guy out because he's got some really cool stuff. Got like five, six videos, something like that. I watched them all, and I didn't catch his name in any of them. I might have missed it, but uh, anyway, Hot Rod Model Cars. He's only got like 50 subs or something like that. So we need to go over there and sub him and like him and ring his bell and all that sort of stuff. So really cool stuff. And I got to give another shout out to Paul over at Styrene Relics because he has really cool stuff. And really cool builds and uh, he's only got like 50 subs too and he needs a lot more because he's got crazy cool older stuff uh, you need to watch his first video where he's showing his room and and some of his collection because it's uh it's the kind of stuff I love so so it really cool stuff so go check these guys out styrene relics and hot rod model cars and uh ring their bells and all that sort of thing anyway quick little look at what uh what i'm doing here on the 32 i think i got the chassis all detailed out here as best i can for not doing this for like uh eight or ten years uh i wired the motor which you guys saw and then i thought well i'll do the fuel lines so I'll turn around here, but there's the fuel lines. Then I thought, well, I should uh, run a fuel line to the tank. So let's turn around here. Yeah, I should change the name of this to Twisty or Warpy or something, because I swear that's gone up another eighth of an inch since I've been working on it. It's crazy. I'm gonna glue it on the trailer. That'll fix that problem. Anyway, there's the fuel lines. And going the, from the tank to the fuel pump there at the front of the motor. And then I thought, well, I should do the little hand pump for the fuel pressure. So I did that and I plumbed that into the top of the tank. And then I thought, well, you know, I should do throttle linkage. So I figured that out. I don't know how realistic it is, but from the gas pedal in there, you can see the little look my pointer thing yet you see the gas pedal there so I ran a line and it's that kind of cable where it moves inside of the uh, of the tube thing whatever you want to call it anyway and then it comes up it comes up and then it comes out to a hard line and it goes into the linkage and I used, I uh, had some of this stuff I had years ago, uh, spark plug uh, wire looms and stuff. I used one of those uh, four ones for the little bracket right there where the, yeah, maybe get this to focus and stay in focus here, right there. And every time I stick the pointer in camera, it goes nuts. And then I put a throttle spring on, if you can see it. It's kind of hard to see, because it's the same color as everything else. And then I use another piece of that uh, wire loom stuff for a little bracket right there to hold the uh, spring on. Let me get it really close and see if it'll focus as I move the camera a bit. There you, there you can kind of see it. And, uh, you know, it was, I haven't done this for years, so it was kind of a challenge, but I'm happy with it. Uh, I think I Mickey Mouse that linkage to look kind of realistic. I don't know, but it works. And then I don't know what kind of coil these had, but I mounted the coil on that little rear plate there. Then I thought, what the heck, I might as well do brakes. Since I was having so much fun. So this is the brake handle here. 
So if you look down in there, yeah, you can see where the brake line's coming out and around and along the bottom and the brake line comes back to the little uh, splitter block thingy right whoa I'm sorry I'm getting used to this new camera angle to the new to the splitter box thing whatever you call it whoops that's supposed to be over there for a little bracket gotta glue that again then coming off of that to that wheel and to this wheel and it looks uh, pretty good I guess so I'm kind of happy with it I had fun doing it like I said I hadn't done it for so long and then I thought well it has a clutch in there so so I thought well dang I might as well there we go I might as well do the clutch so I got a little cable coming off the clutch right there he said said that was the uh, clutch on the instructions so i have that coming down along the bottom rail and i don't know where it goes into the bell housing but i got it going in right there the little yellow yellow line so that worked out pretty good it was a lot of fun like i say i use uh i use wire like this and I cut a little teeny piece off, if you can see it, right there, which you can't because it's blurry. I pick it up, but then you really, see that little yellow thing right there? That's just a real thin piece I, I cut off of this and then run the line through it, whatever I'm, whatever line it is, like that right there. And then the black, I just... Got a smaller piece of uh, little tubing stuff to run a line through it to kind of get a little contrast so they're not all yellow. The lines aren't all the same color. Probably in a real car they would be. They might be like hard metal lines. I don't know. But give a little contrast with some color here. You know, I got the blue. And there's two different colors of blue. And that has a little black tubing for brackets. And has a little blue tubing for brackets and yeah, so it was fun I had fun Mickey Mousing with it uh, man that's so warped I can't believe it so when I get the bed done uh, this will just be like a little display base for it it'll just stay on there and be nice and level get the body on so next up is the body and there it's I got the little inner panels done turned out pretty good I painted it inside uh, silver and then uh, that's kind of a nickel color I used on the inner panels I glued the, the front on because I want to I want it to line up good so oh, one more thing I'm gonna have to change the headers because uh, when I put those little inner fenders on in the body they hit the headers on the sides and I don't know if it's gonna set down low enough so I have to figure out something else I don't want to because those headers look really good on there I like the look. So anyway, that's where I'm at. That's pretty much done. I'm happy with it for not doing any kind of detail wiring for a long time. So I'll get the body all decaled up probably today. And then we'll do another update. And with that, I think I'm done. Don't forget Styrene Relics. And don't forget Hot Rod Model Cars. Great channels. Uh, thank you to my subscribers. I appreciate it. If you haven't, uh, please subscribe and uh, ring the bell and all that sort of thing. I really appreciate it very much. So I'll probably see you uh, uh, probably tomorrow, I guess, for our little trip back in time. We'll see what comes up. So until then, everybody take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.